For the first time, subway chokehold suspect Daniel Penny has spoken out about what happened on that F train on May 1st. Penny is charged with manslaughter in the death of Jordan Neely. Neely was reportedly shouting at subway riders when the Marine veteran Neely put him in a long chokehold that took Neely's life. In an interview with the New York Post, Penny said, this has nothing to do with race. I am not a white supremacist. He went on to say, I love all people. I love all cultures. You can tell by my past and my travels and adventures around the world. I was actually planning a road trip through Africa before this happened. Penny's actions have sparked outrage and protests, many asking what if Penny was black and Neely was white? Why did the chokehold go on so long? Neely attorney Dante Mills fired back at Penny's words, saying it was an advertisement to soften the public's view. He tells PIX11 in a statement, We never called him a white supremacist. We called him a killer. We don't care how many vacations he's been on. We want to know why he didn't let go of the chokehold until Jordan was dead. Your planned drive through Africa can't explain why you thought you had the right to take someone's life, even if they were houseless and had mental illness. Freelance journalist Dana Kennedy conducted the interview for the New York Post. She had this to say. I'm just speculating here. This is just my, my, my theory. But he didn't seem like somebody that really like lost it in the moment and, you know, realizes he went too far. My take on it was something bad maybe really did happen on that subway. There is a huge divide on Daniel Penny in the court of public opinion. But ultimately, Daniel Penny's fate will be decided by a jury in a court of law. John Muller, Pixel 11 News.